So this time of year, almost anywhere that you live, we hear Christmas music in English everywhere that we go, in the mall, in the grocery store, even just walking down the street sometimes. But have you ever wondered what these songs actually mean? Well, stick around because we are going to be teaching you 10 Christmassy words and expressions that are going to help you understand natives better. So I just wanted to remind you that every week we have lessons just like this one and not to miss the next lesson and learn new vocabulary. Please subscribe. You can see the subscribe button below and hit that bell down below and you will get a notification when a new lesson is on on our channel. So Ksenia, the other day, I saw that the song that I chose is still landing on the top 100 charts year after year in December. And of course, this is probably the most popular Christmas song of all time, arguably. All I Want for Christmas is You by Mariah Carey. Yeah, all the uh, Christmas season start with this song, I think. But let me ask you, <laughs> you said that it landed top chart, right? Can you explain the word land in the context of the song? That's a great collocation. If it lands on a chart, if it lands in the top 10, top 100, it means that it, it's put there. It <laughs> achieves that number, achieves that success. It's like a comparison with the airplane, for example, it flies and that it lands. Mm -hmm. So the song was flying around in the air and it landed <laughs> on top. Mariah Carey, right, Mariah. sings this song. Mm -hmm. I cannot sing like a Mariah Carey, that's for <laughs> sure, but let's try our best today. I just want you for my own. So for my own, this is a nice collocation. Oftentimes we'll say on my own. That's another way that we'll use this. On my own means alone, by myself. So kids often are very proud of themselves because they rode their bike on their own or they cooked something, they cooked the Sunday pancakes on their own without any help. And the use here is a little bit different because she doesn't say on my own, she says for my own. So okay. it is, like you said, for myself but it might give even more of an emphasis of for me and no one else. So mistletoe, do you know what that is? Mistletoe, I think that's the evergreen plant and it usually hangs where do you hang it? In the in the doorway, right? I believe the tradition is in a doorway. Yeah. But at a Christmas party, it could be anywhere. <laughs> What's the point of this? What's the tradition that goes along with two people being caught under the mistletoe? It's uh, something with kissing, right? <laughs> I don't yeah. know where it comes from. Do you know? I don't know. That would be a great thing to look up. Maybe Did you get a lot of kisses under the, the mistletoe? <laughs> I don't think I've ever gotten a kiss under the mistletoe. Oh. I don't think I've ever found myself under a mistletoe <laughs> with another person. I, I think in my house, it wasn't even a tradition to have the mistletoe hung up. Oh. Did you know it's actually poisonous? I don't know why you would, but you should not eat mistletoe. I didn't know that. And it's very Christmassy, probably because it has these small red berries mm -hmm. and very bright green leaves. So it's the green and red that are traditional colors at Christmas. Reindeer, we've been talking about a lot in today's podcast. Why is it reindeer click? Uh, maybe, I'm just guessing, it's like has to do with clicking of their hooves. You got it. So reindeer Bingo. have hooves on their feet. You imagine them walking on your rooftop, you might hear like a <laughs> clicking sound. Yeah. I think we'd be like click clop is the click sound clop. that horses make with their, their feet. So the clicking sound of reindeer on the roof. <laughs> nice. It reminds me already like some Christmas songs with this sound effect. So she's saying she's not going to stay awake to hear the rain door clicking. She's going to be a good girl. She wants to get her present. That's a really difficult part of the song. So what are sleigh bells? Okay, bells. We know the bells. You can hit the subscribe button and bell down below. Oh. <laughs> bell is something that makes this uh, ringing sound, right? Uh, usually mm -hmm. Santa reindeers have the bells and sleigh, it's Santa's transport. She says she hears sleigh bells ringing also because people might take horse rides in a sleigh through the snow. And this is also something that's a tradition is to put those bells on the horses. So you will hear the sound of the sleigh or the carriage going along and that sort of ringing, that festive ringing sound. 
All right, the last little piece of teaching that I thought would be nice to share with the audience here was actually some connected speech. So in English, when we have a T plus a Y, we often will morph that into a ch sound. So here she says, Santa, won't you bring me the one I really need? But she doesn't say won't you, she says won't you. And that's a bonus I could give too. NT, we often drop the T sound. So we don't say Santa in American English. Typically we'll say Santa. Hey guys, we're using a lot of advanced expressions in this lesson. And you know, actually the best way to learn and internalize them into your speech is to use flashcards on real life app because we define the most interesting and most important words and phrases from this lesson for you. And that is only one of the features the app provides. Other features are interactive transcript where you can follow along the whole episode and click on any no words to never miss a single word that you overheard and maybe didn't understand. In our speaking mode, you will be able to connect to another English learner and have a real life conversation with them. The app is free to use and very easy to find. Just go to your Apple App Store, Google App Store and search for real life app. You can also find the link in the description to this video. Ksenia, what is the Christmas carol, we might say, that you've brought for us? Yeah, a Christmas carol is another word to name the Christmas song, right? It's a word you hear much more at Christmas than any other time of the year. Yeah, it may be also used like a verb, to go caroling. To go caroling. What is that <laughs> if people go caroling? Uh, usually those are kids, maybe adults as well, I don't know. Go from home to home, from house to house, singing those Christmas carols. Usually here in Ukraine, they... Uh, get sweets and some small change. Mm, it's kind of like trick or treating, but for Christmas. Yeah, for Christmas. This, at least in my town, was more common when I was a kid. Unfortunately, I believe it's become old hash. It's not so popular anymore. So my song is. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> there are so again a couple of variants, and uh, mine is from Michael Bublé. Oh, I love that version. So guys, in this line, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. There's a lot of connected speech going on. First, let me explain the, wor the verb look. Pay attention to the sound you use here because it's not look. It would be a name, look, right? It's the short oo sound, look. Look! At what? What do you mean at what? I said look. I am looking. Yeah, we have uh, some words uh, like lock or lock, but it's look, okay, look, look a lot. Here, after the verb look, there is a schwa sound, yeah, a turns into a schwa sound, a, look a, and they merge with the verb look, look a lot. And finally, like ends with k sound and Christmas starts with k sound, so they also morph and we only have one k sound, like like Christmas, like Christmas, look a lot like Christmas. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. By the way, Ethan, do you know what is five and ten? Where should I look at, at the five and ten? Take a look at the five and ten. I have looked this up in the past because I used <laughs> to use the song to teach my students at Christmas time. So mm -hmm. I had to know what that is. And nowadays we'd call it a dollar store because the economy has gotten worse or inflation. And exactly, like mm -hmm. 5 and 10, it refers to the cost of those goods or items which were sold at those convenience stores or discount stores, right? And there are two words I wanted to teach you today. So 5 cents can be called nickel, right? Mm -hmm. And 10 cents can be called dime. So it's nickel and dime. Next word is glistening. And there are many words like that in Christmas songs. So everything that refers to glistening, sparkling, shining, glowing, and everything refers to those decoration, Christmas lights, garlands, everything that is very bright and shining. Candy canes and silver lanes that glow. Silver lanes. Lane is a, a small road or a street. Silver here, it's because it's maybe full of snow or, again, silver decorations. And an interesting word, a glow, that's not a word to use 
in your daily conversation. It's more literary, right? A glow. It's again yeah. has the same root as the word glowing, and here it means、mm -hmm. that they are shining, they are bright. But this word a glow can be used in a very interesting phrase that. For example, imagine Christmas time. Kids receive their presents, and their faces are aglow with happiness. Right? Would you、mm. use that、right. in this collocation, Ethan? Not commonly. You probably say their faces are glowing. <laughs> glowing. It sounds nice. There's different、Maybe、words like this. I believe it comes from Old English, and over time, as you said, it's become more literary. It's become not very common in speaking.、Mm -hmm. I think I came across such. Words with a at the beginning, which we lost、uh, with time、mm -hmm. in English poems. One of my favorite lines of this song <laughs> is this one. I love it too. And mom and dad can hardly wait for school to start again. <laughs> <laughs> mom and dad can hardly wait for school to start again. It really rings a bell, because usually <laughs> Christmas holidays are long. And kids stay home. Parents are get tired <laughs> of you know constant noise. So this phrase "can hardly wait" means exactly that—that that we can't wait. The sooner, the better. It's an emphasizer. Hey, global citizens! Thank you very much for learning with us. But you should know that this was just a short clip from the full lesson. The full lesson is available on the Real Life English app. So download the app now and continue listening there. You're gonna learn so much more. See you soon.